Hello everyone, how are you? Um, my name is Michelle, thank you again for coming to join me for indoor cycling. Hope you had a really good weekend and I hope you've had a really good Monday so far. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of different styles, so we're going to be doing a little bit of hills, flats, so chucking everything in there pretty much. But what I'm going to do is I'll go through all the health and safety once I've got you up on the bike um, with hand positions and so on. Um, but what I want you to do is make sure you've got a drink and just make sure just to enjoy. If at any point you need to recover before it actually gets to the recovery part, absolutely fine. Just do whatever you need to do. But I'm going to pop your warm up track and I'm going to run, jump on the bike do our health and safety and then we'll get started. But again, thank you so much for coming to join me. Hello, Kerry, you all right, lovey? Right, here we go. I've got the music on something different today, so hopefully you can hear it a little bit louder than normal. <laughs> there we go, right. Let's get ourselves comfy on the bike. So once you've got your feet strapped in, or you've got yourself clicked in, what I want you to do is just relax off your shoulders just a little bit. Give me a couple of rolls back, a couple of rolls front. We do hold a lot of tension here. We shouldn't, but we do. Saddle. I want a soft bend in the knee when your legs are full extension. Saddle to handlebar. It's gonna be from your elbow to your fingertip distance apart. And then your handlebar height is completely up to you. It is your preference. But whilst we're there, just run the legs out a little bit. Make sure you've got a nice soft resistance underneath them feet. Nothing too strenuous, but you should be able to feel a little bit of pressure at the bottom. Different hand positions. So hand position one is when you're in the middle, nice and soft, nice and relaxed. Hand position two is when we take our hands wide on the handlebars. That's when we come up to a standing flat. And then hands position three, that's when we get ready to get ourselves into a nice hill climb. So we don't need that one just yet. Right, add on just one more tiny little gear for me. Good. Then what I want you to do is get yourselves ready. We're gonna come up to a standing flat, so make sure it's nice and safe for you. When you're ready, up we go. Perfect, so whilst we're here, we are gonna be doing this a bit today. Your abs are pulled in nice and tight. Shoulders are down and relaxed. And you want to imagine you have a piece of string pulling you from the top of your head all the way up to the ceiling. So you wanna try and make sure you're up nice and tall. Good. So we're just warming up the heart rate slowly here, but remember it is only a 30 minute class. That's with your warm up and your cool down. So we're warming you up slowly, slowly, but once we hit peak, we are going to stay there till the end. Lovely, right, come back down. Brilliant work. If you need to do another little bit of a shoulder roll again, just to relax off that tension, please do so. Like I explained at the beginning, I don't do recovery tracks. If you need to recover at any point, just please take it. I usually stay in between each track to grab a quick drink and find a quick recovery, which is now. We are gonna do flat combinations, first working track. So with your flat combo, your hands are always going to stay at position number two. We are going to do four counts up, four counts down. If at any point it gets too much, just stay in the saddle. But make sure you've got enough gears, keep it safe. Right, when you're ready, four, three, two, up. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Up. Down. Good, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Doesn't matter if you don't match the beat perfectly. Just keep the legs going up. Good work, team. Abdominals in tight. Standing up tall. Four, three, two, one. 
This one's gonna get the heart rate going. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Down. Up. Brilliant work. Big circles with those legs. Good stuff. How are we doing at the moment? Heart rate on a scale of one to ten. One is we're sitting on the sofa. It's nice and easy. Ten, I'm calling the ambulance. I want you creeping up to about six or a seven. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Come up nice and smooth and down nice and smooth. Sometimes when we get tired, we just want to kind of throw ourselves down. Great work so far. Up. Down. Up. Good. It's going to start getting to a point we have got no idea what our legs are doing. <laughs> but that's okay. Four, three, two, one. Come on, stay with it. You got this. Right, that heart rate's gone. Correct from a six to a seven. We are now definitely in seven. Four, three, two, one. Brilliant work. Not much longer for this track. Keep smiling your way through it. You got this. Good. Last little push. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Stay down, amazing, well done. Right, we are coming into a seated climb. So, give me some increases. Get some weight underneath them legs. If you need this time to recover, grab a drink. Absolutely fine. Perfect. Right, weight to the back of the bike, remember? You always want your bottom back. Hands are nice and soft on the handlebars. Not too much pressure going through the wrists. Right, give me a big increase. Your legs are going to slow down, but it's that beat that's doing it for you, okay? As much as we want to slow our legs down, it's the resistance that's doing it for us. Brilliant work, well done. Big pick up with the knees now. So every time you bring them up, you want to imagine you're hitting the underneath of your handlebars. So big, big circles. Whilst you're there, point the toes down just slightly, just a slight dip. You're going to feel it activate through those quads a little bit more. Have your legs gotten used to this resistance yet? <laughs> they may have but that's okay. We're going to shake them up a little bit, so give me another little increase. There we go. Everyone's bike is different. My increase is I'm on the dial. It's 15 minutes every increase. But your resistance may be a bit tougher or a bit lighter, just do what you can. You know your bike, you know how it works. <laughs> you know all the little tweaks with it. <laughs> You're right, keep pushing team. Come on, keep pumping. Can we give it just another little nudge? Just one more little one. Good. Think about the muscle groups we are working now. When we do that push down, we are pushing through the quads. 
the top of those legs. And then on that pull up, we are squeezing the backs of those legs. We're squeezing through those hamstrings. Stay on that beat with me. One, two, one, two, one, two. Definitely can't stop us. <laughs> really, really good. Your legs should be starting to talk to you now. They should be asking you to stand and come out the saddle. We're not going to, but that's what they should be saying. Come on, we got this. Keep the chin up, keep the chest up. And just breathe. Come on, nearly there for this one. Oh, it is one of my never ending tracks. <laughs> that who just gets that little bit see for a super, doesn't it? Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Start to ease off that resistance a little bit. Take a couple off for me. Start to let the legs run. Right. We are back on another flat combo, similar to our first working track. But this time, we're gonna double it. We're gonna double it a little bit. We need a drink, grab a drink. We need to relax off those shoulders, relax them up. So we are gonna aim for eight. Eight up and eight down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Two, one. Two, one. <laughs> right. This is going to be a real test now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, try and stay on this as much as you can. Because I can guarantee I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I can just guarantee. Four, three, two, one. Two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, one. Very nice. Up. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Down. Up. Amazing. Come on. I can't find the words, I just go. Three, two, one. Two, one. Down. Believe it or not, this is one of our easier tracks. Down. <laughs> but we're halfway through already. And we've still got a cool down to do. That's not too bad. Up. Two, one. Up. Great work, everyone. Are the hands still nice and loose? Sometimes when we get tired, we're going to use them to pull us up. We don't want that. We want to use those legs. We want to use our abdominals to do that for us. Up. Three, two, one. How's that heart rate doing now? We were on a seven. We should have crept up to an eight. Maybe even a nine. Down. Up. Come on, we got this. If it's too much to stand, stay down. But stay quick. Or if you're finding it too easy, you can just stay up. <laughs> Your class, your choice. Three, two, down. Nearly there for this. Two, one. Four, three, two, one. Stay down. Brilliant work. Right, grab a drink. Pop on a couple of gears for me. 
nice and heavy. Get ready for some combo climbs. This is where we're gonna go. Hands position three. We haven't been there yet in this class. Right. How are we feeling? Are we ready for this? Big, big increase. One hand transitions to the end of the handlebars. Four, three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, up. Really good. We want to keep the elbows tucked in. Weight through the hands is nice and soft. When we're up, we can still feel the saddle tap in our bottom. So just tap in. Just nice and light. <laughs> up. Brilliant. We're not going to stay on fours throughout. We're going to chop and change it. Right, while she's down there, give me an increase. Change it to twos. Go. Two, one, two, one. When you come up, don't worry about going up as high. But just keep hitting them transitions for me. Back to fours. Go. Four, three, two, one. How are we doing? Two. One, four, whilst we're down there, give me an increase, back to two, go, two, one, two, one, two, one, great work, come on, that heart rate has gone from an eight, it is coming up to a nine, nice and slow and steady here, strength training, this is where we are going to build that muscle, burn that fat, shake them legs, Right, change. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, slowly down. It should be a challenge to try and hit this beat now. Two, one. If you feel like those legs are just running, nice and smooth, nice and easy, pop an increase on for me. It should be beginning to be a bit of a struggle. Up. Four, three, two, one, down. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Change it to fours. Four, three, two, one. Again, those muscle groups. What are we working? Give them a squeeze. When your legs are down there, they are begging you to stand up. When we're standing, they should be struggling to hit beat. So as long as we're on beat, or slightly in front of it, that's okay. I'd rather that than going a bit too slow. Up. Down. Increase. Back to twos. Two, one, two, one. I hate their legs. <laughs> Chin up, chest up. Are we still smiling? Are we still enjoying it? I hope so. Yeah, come on, come on. We are going to be burning calories until at least Wednesday doing this. That's what we want. The calorie burn doesn't stop the second you finish your workout. It still carries on after. It just depends how hard you're going to push yourself. And again, it's one of those tracks. Just when you think it's over, it throws in a little bit extra. Right, team, back to fours. Two, one, four, three, two, one. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Stay with it. Two, one. Right, final little push now with this track. I promise. 
Then we're gonna hit a nice flat. Right, stay down for me. Right, take some gears off. Let's get back to our warm up weight. Or slightly heavier. Right. Are we ready for some sprints? Some nice sprint tracks. Of course we are. 30 seconds on. 10 seconds off. Throughout the whole track. Bring your weight back, bottom back. Hands loose. Start to put those legs. Four, three, two, one, go. Pump those legs as fast as they will take you. Remember, you still have a little bit of resistance underneath those feet, keeping you safe, keeping you steady. And remember I said about that calorie burn? This is the type of track that is gonna kick it up another level. Four, three, two, one, take it off. Good work, well done. Couple of seconds. Ready for sprint number two. Four, three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Come on, you've got this. Can you go a little bit quicker than you did in your last track? Go on, give it a go for me. Keep pushing. Fire ball. <laughs> that was a nice summer track, this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds, catch your breath. Are we going that tiny little bit quicker every time? That extra one RPM. Two, one, go. Go, go, go. Right, let's see what those legs have got left in them. It should be feeling like you are catching flames underneath your feet. Come on, last little bit for this one. Three, two, one. Take it off. Right, next one. Let's really go for it. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, here we go. Keep them shoulders as relaxed as you can. Keep the hands as relaxed as you can. Keep those abdominals squeezed. Come on, let's keep going on this one. This one is slightly longer than that 30 seconds. But we're gonna go for as long as we can, okay? Come on, keep pushing. Keep the toes pointed. Knees locked in. Go on, how are we doing, everyone? Keep picking them knees up. Come on, come on. If you need to recover, three seconds, no longer. If you recover for three, get straight back in. Any longer, we won't want to get started again. Right, there's my three seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> See, even five seconds will be too long. <laughs> Those legs are definitely on fire, aren't they? Oh, yes. You should be wanting to stand up and out the saddle, which is what we're going to do in your next track. Last couple of seconds for this one, come on. Then we're going to hit your final track. How are we doing? Come on, come on. Slow it down. Right, team. Pop on a couple of gears for me. Get ready for hands to three. It's gonna be slightly quicker than what we're used to with a normal climb. But we can do this, we got this, right? So, relax off those shoulders if you need to. Give 
yourself a couple of shrugs, a couple of rolls, and then when you're ready, make sure you've got enough gears underneath your feet again. Keep it safe, keep it strong. Hands to three when you're ready. If at any point you want to come to the saddle, then come to the saddle. If not, stay here. Stay quick. Pick those heels up as high as they can go. You want to almost imagine you're trying to kick your own bottom, okay? Right, can you hear that beat? Can you hear the bass? That's what we're aiming to match. One, two, one, two, one, two. Right, form technique. Elbows in, hands nice and relaxed on those handlebars. Abs are in, back is flat. All we gotta do now is find that little bit extra in the tank, wherever that may be. And let's use it. Remember, I would rather you go on beat or slightly over than too slow. We are over halfway on this final track. What else have we got left? Just think how good we are going to feel in the next hour after it's done. The legs might not feel great, <laughs> but we will. We will mentally, which is the main thing, right? Come on, let's get rid. Let's get rid of that Monday feeling. Monday can always be stressful, can't it? <laughs> Keep picking up those heels, come on. Can you challenge it a tiny little bit more? Can you challenge it with an extra increase? Completely up to you. If you feel like what you're doing is enough, then stay with that. Or if you want a little bit extra, there's always room for a little bit extra. But we still keeping that upper body nice and loose, nice and relaxed. Keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two. We are on a 400 meter track. We are in our final lap of it now. This is a bit where you can really enjoy it. Come on, what have we got left? The feet always gets that tiny, tiny bit quicker. Right at the end. <laughs> you made it. You crossed that finish line. Well done, good work. Keep those legs running. If you want to stay up here, run them out, do that. Or if you want to come down, run them out. Well done, team. How are we feeling after that? <laughs> Always love the feeling when it's done. <laughs> Jumping on the bike, not so much. Jumping off it, that's oh, beautiful. Right, just catch your breath here, grab a drink. Take your time. But very, very good, everyone. That wasn't an easy one, that was tough. But you did it. That's the main thing. Right. What I want you to do is keep your legs running for me. And then when you're ready, reach it up nice and tall. Lean over to one side. So just a little lean over and make sure you can feel that stretch all the way down your rib cage, down the obliques. Perfect, then switch hands, switch sides, big lean over. Good, lovely, well done. Right, give me a couple of shoulder rolls there. As always, three or four back, and three or four forwards. 
Right, stay on your bike if you don't feel quite ready to come off yet. But if not, we're gonna jump off, do a little bit of quad stretching. It's always worth every move you do in your stretching, do it twice. Just if you've got the time. <laughs> Lovely, right. So each stretch, preferably 20 seconds each. So you're gonna pop the knees together and then get a bit of pressure from, oh, from that foot into your hand. Great work as always though, well done. Hopefully you feel really good after that. Legs might not be happy for a couple of hours or even a couple of days after, who knows. <laughs> But as always, workouts are going to be on the Facebook page. They're going to stay on there, going on YouTube. So they're there saved, ready for you if you wanted to do it again. Perfect. Then you're going to do a hamstring stretch. So you're going to pop one leg straight, bend the other leg, get a bit of pressure into that bent leg for me. And then if you need a bit of an extra stretch through the straight leg, pop the toes down and then you should feel it a little bit through the calf. But again, please, if you can, 20 seconds each side, repeat it if you've, got, if you've got the time to. If not, do it later on tonight. There's no rules when you've got to do it. But brilliant work as always. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Go and have a wonderful rest of your Monday. If you want to do it again, I'm here tomorrow morning at 7am. But if not, have a really lovely rest of your week. And I will see you soon, if I don't see you tomorrow. <laughs> but thank you so much, everyone. Have a really lovely week. Take care. Bye.